Hello, Chimicum Elementary Esports Club. So here are a few things everybody needs to know. Make sure you watch this video all the way through to the end. So give yourself the time you need. All right, so here's what we have. This is a schedule of when you all said you were available to play. Um, you can pause this video and see who can play at the times you can so you can connect with them and try to play together. We do have one more person who's going to uh, join us, uh, so I'll send an updated uh, schedule when I get that person, and we might have another one, so that would be two more. Now these are the people who can play Wednesdays around 4, 4.15, right here, and here are the people who can play Thursdays. Um, so far of the matches we have left with Lakeside and Orange County, both California teams, uh, it seems like there's going to be more Thursdays, so that one we might play more often. And basically, you know we have a meeting every Wednesday at 11. So if you didn't make it to the last one, make it to the next uh, meeting and from then on, every Wednesday at 11. Those who show up are guaranteed to play if they uh, can. And then once we get people playing, we can start rotating. But I think we've only got three matches left because there's six teams and we're playing six times. We forfeited the first one, played the last two, so we have three left. So if you want to play against another school, you need to show up to the meetings and, and show interest. And then if you say you're going to be at the game, don't be late. Don't make us worry and wonder where you are and, and have to forfeit. If you say you're going to be there, set yourself a timer, some kind of alarm, or something so you know to show up and remember. Same thing for the Wednesday 11 o'clock meetings. Have a timer so you don't skip those. Now, to be part of a sports club or, and a school team, you got to keep up with your schoolwork. So you're checking Classcraft and Google Classroom every day, showing up to Mr. Brennan's 10 o'clock math uh, meetings, you're doing work, you're checking your email because you're getting emails from Google Classroom like crazy. So when you get an eSports email from me, don't ignore it and don't let it get so far down that you'll never see it because I often need you to respond right away. Okay, so those are things you, you got to remember to be responsible and, and be a good uh, team member. So right now, Miles has been such a, a, a good, strong supporter of our team and, and taken up leadership. He is officially the team captain. Congratulations, Miles. Uh, so I think that's great, especially since he's Minecraft, CSD Minecraft number one. Uh, it works out for him. So now you know what you need to do. So let's say you're caught up with your work and you have time to play. What do you do? Well, of course, you're going to go to Minecraft. You're going to click play. Okay, here you are. So make sure your Wi-Fi is connected, your VPN's working, hotspot, everything. Have your computer plugged in. No more running out of battery in the middle of a game. As you know, click on multiplayer. Click on proceed. Here are the servers you should all have. You've got the Minecraft server UK. You've got the CompMC Overcast. You've got the CompMC and you've got our private server. Now, if you are alone, or there are less than five of you, you should play Overcast, because like I said, they always have people. Look at this, they got like, they got a ton of people. It'll get you great experience no matter what game you play. Um, you can go on Minecraft UK if there's people on there, because you can pick your game and play different games. Now, if a server doesn't connect, try Refresh. Always try refresh first before you're like, I can't connect, what do I do? Um, and then if it still doesn't come on, try one of the servers that comes on. Obvious, right? Now, if you have five or more people, uh, if our private server is working, play that one first. See, there's three people right now. It's Minecraft 1, 11, and 4. It's Miles, Caleb, and Donovan. All right, they're practicing. So get on there and play. Because once you have five people, it'll start a match. 
and then you'll cycle through from one uh, world to another. And only five of those worlds are capture the wool, but anything you play, you practice the skills you need for game time. Um, and if Comp MC is not available, doesn't seem to be available today, don't worry about it. All right, so here we go. So you get in, you play. That's it. That's how you use these servers. So let's review everything you need to do. Wednesdays at 11, be there every Wednesday at 11. I always send a calendar invite. No excuse. Uh, if you can play on a game and you're gonna be on the team, be on time. We always start 15 minutes or so before match time, so we're all on the Google Meet. You can strategize and plan. Um, and if you're on your own, caught up with all your schoolwork, you can join the Overcast server, or if you have five people, you can play on our server, the UK server, or CompMC when it's up and running. And if the CES private server isn't running, shoot me a message, but don't wait around for me, because I might be working. Uh, play one of the other ones while you wait. And check Classcraft and email every day, all the time, in case I need you to answer right away. Uh, and, and if something does happen, like you really can't make it to the match, email me, message me on Classcraft, call your other teammates, because we have 12 people on the team. We should have no problem getting five to play at any one time on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So that's it. That's everything I need you to know, and that's how we're going to be successful. Uh, and what I really want to see, we got 12 people. We should be playing six versus six, scrimmaging, practicing. Uh, but we got three matches left at the Comp MC. Let's play. Let's get her done, and then we'll just spend time practicing till the next league. Hoping they'll have one in the spring, and we'll be ready. All right, good luck. See you all Wednesday at 11.